welcome to the random bros. Couple of years back, I bought this budget canister light to use it while scuba diving. But is it any good? This light needs 3, 26, 650 lithium ion cells to power its 10 watt LEDs. It has 3 O rings to seal the canister from water. To activate the light, you have to press the magnetic switch on the canister that sometimes refuses to work. As you can see, this particular light has a very wide beam angle that makes it perfectly suitable for taking photos and using it inside shipwrecks. The downside is that it can barely shine to my camera that is about 6 meters away from me. Here you can see the difference in brightness between the three modes. In the water it performs as it should and here you can really see how wide the beam is compared to my single LED narrow beam light. So, is this light worth its 300 euros? Absolutely not. Did you notice that in the beginning of my test, the LEDs lost their color and turned yellow? They were supposed to stay white. I would never trust a light that has damaged LEDs in a total of 40 hours of use. My 70 euro Aqualung Solo is about 7 years old and it has well over 300 hours of use and the LED is performing exceptionally well since day one. Also, with a price of 300 euros without batteries and charger, you can easily buy a light from reputable companies like Aqualung, Light and Motion and Scuba Pro that are guaranteed to work. Not to mention the safety issues, this light has no battery management system. This means that if I don't manually balance charge all of my cells, they will lose their capacity and probably limit the light's burn time to more than half. That concludes my review of this light. I still believe that the company did a good job, but 300 euros for a light that performs that badly, it's just too much. And I strongly believe that in this case, you don't get what you paid for. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.